Hello everyone and welcome back to Building Together. This week, LEGO finally announced the impending release of the 2023 modular building, The Jazz Club. We did a detailed analysis and breakdown of the official images earlier this week, but there was a question gnawing at the back of my mind as we LEGO fans awaited this announcement. Is the LEGO Jazz Club the most anticipated modular of all time? I think there might be a couple ways to try to determine this, but before I do, please hit that subscribe button. We're a small channel and hey, it's Christmas. Think of subscribing as a huge gift to us. Okay, back to the question of this video. What do we mean by anticipation and how might anticipation be shown by the LEGO fan community? Well, one interesting data set is available at Brickset.com, which allows its members to indicate if they want a particular set. In their queries, Brickset labels this anticipation. We're about two weeks away from the set's release, and over 1,300 Brickset members indicate that they want this set. This places the Jazz Club among the most wanted sets that have not yet been released for 2023, regardless of theme, and trailing only a yet-to-be-disclosed Star Wars UCS set and a couple of the Series 24 collectible minifigs. But one problem with measuring anticipation by this is that I don't know how many people wanted previous modulars before they were released. I can look up the most wanted sets of all time. By the way, five of the top 10 most wanted LEGO sets are modulars. But at this point, these sets have already been released for at least one year and are no longer anticipated the same way as is the Jazz Club. Instead, I'm going to examine this from a different angle, Google Trends. Google Trends analyzes the popularity of a variety of search terms and topics across different countries and languages over time. Essentially, I can compare how many people are Googling the modular buildings at the time of their announcement and release to get a sense of how much anticipation they're getting. To show you how this works, let's take a look at the search trends for the topic of LEGO modular buildings over the past year. This topic includes related searches such as LEGO 10312, which is the set number for the Jazz Club, LEGO Modular Building 2023, LEGO 2023 Modular, and so on. So basically it encompasses all of the key search terms people might enter if they were looking for details about modular sets. And what does this blue line here tell us? Well, the line shows us weekly relative search volume for LEGO modulars. The peak point of the line is the high point for searches related to this term. Here, the peak is in December 11th to the 17th of 2022, indicating that there were more searches related to LEGO modulars this week than any other week in the past 12 months. When I hover my mouse over the data point, it tells me the score for a particular week, in this case, 100. All of the other weeks are relative to this high point. For instance, the second highest search volume over the past year came nearly exactly one year ago. And that was when the previous modular, the Boutique Hotel, was released. Its score of 29 tells us that search volume that week was 29% as high as the peak volume of searches for modulars this week. In other words, there were three times as many searches for LEGO modulars this week as there were the week the Boutique Hotel was released. Now that we have some of the basics of Google Trends down, we can go a bit deeper into this question of anticipation. To compare apples to apples, we should take a look at the search volume for the modulars when a new one was announced. Now, over the years, LEGO has varied the announcement and release of the modular buildings. The first two modulars were early spring releases, yet the third, the Fire Brigade, was released in September. Also, LEGO has varied the length of time between the announcement and the official release of a modular. For instance, the Pet Shop was announced on May 6th, 2011, and released quickly thereafter. It wasn't until 2014 and 
the release of the iconic Parisian restaurant that LEGO began releasing modulars on January 1st. Taking a look at the search trends for LEGO modulars during these early eras of 2007 to 2014 reflect the sporadic nature of the company's releases. The trend line overall is positive, showing an increased interest in modulars over the first eight iterations of the series. In terms of anticipation, the high point came in January 2013, which just so happens to be when the Palace Cinema was announced. The current standardization of modular releases has helped with anticipation. If the fan community knows the new modular is going to be released every January 1st, they tend to start paying attention as that date approaches. We can see this in the data by adding more years to our timeline. So now we can see a clear pattern of search volume peaks. Each year between October and early December, LEGO announced the new modular and we saw a corresponding spike in Google searches. What might surprise you is that for a couple of years, it was the detective's office announced in November of 2014 that set the standard for anticipation. The ensuing Brick Bank and Assembly Square both came in at roughly half the search volume of the detective's office. Then came the downtown diner with its more modern architecture and pink and teal color scheme. Its announcement in November 2017 set the standard among Lego modulars in terms of Google searches. In fact, each of the next three modulars saw a decrease in interest when announced. Perhaps this shows a little bit of the flaw in using Google Trends data, by the way. It can show anticipation, but it also includes more than that. It really is a measure of what people are paying attention to, talking about, and searching for, not so much what they intend to buy. I don't know the sales data, though, for each modular, but I know that the downtown diner was a controversial modular building within the LEGO community, which may have aided its search volume. The Boutique Hotel, released last year, reversed the decline in search trend spikes when it was announced. However, it still came in at 90% of the search volume as the downtown diner. So what about the new jazz club? Did it unseat the downtown diner? Does it have more anticipation, buzz, or talk than any other modular building? The answer? It sure looks like it. Keep in mind that our data for all of December this year on Google Trends is not yet available. This is preliminary data, but there are two important pieces of evidence that demonstrate the anticipation for the Jazz Club. First, comparing search data from 2007 until now, the preliminary peak is this month, and it's not even close. The downtown diner anticipation comes in at just 45% of the search volume of the Jazz Club. Second, we get more official data by looking at Google Trends going back to last November. Here we can see the spike in early December when the Boutique Hotel was announced. Data from these weeks are still lower than the data from earlier this month, which was before the Jazz Club was even announced. Bottom line, more people are searching for information regarding the Jazz Club than any other modular in history. Does that make this the most anticipated modular of all time? Well, maybe. There are some caveats with the data. It's easy to search for something on Google, but that doesn't mean people are eager to buy it. Forking over 230 US dollars for a set is easier said than done. Also, people around the world do use other search engines than Google. However, one benefit of using Google Trends is that 80 to 90% of searches worldwide run through Google. All right, that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Comment down below if you plan on buying the Jazz Club, and if so, when. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel, and always remember to keep building together.